Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the custom learning paths add-on for WPLMS. Now this add-on adds the functionality of learning paths in your WPLMS site. A learning path is a sequence of steps which you want the learner to follow in order to achieve certain objective. So various sites are employing this method of learning path. For example, we have lynda.com. Then we have the plural site. Then we have the Google trainings, which also show the learning path. So let's see what these learning paths are and how they work. So after installing and activating the plugin, you will see a learning paths option in your LMS menu. Currently only administrator can create learning paths. So when you create a learning path, you enter the title, the description set a learning path type and then we have learning path steps and learning path settings so in the settings you will see that we have few display settings which is the title featured image and show learning path below the content so let's see what it means so here is our learning path here we have the title the featured image then we have the learning path details then there is a description of the learning path and then we have the offered by and then we have the learning path steps next is the sequential steps so there are two types of learning paths in WPLMS first is a non sequential which means that there is no sequence to achieving these steps and the other one is a sequential learning path which means that you have to follow a certain sequence of steps to achieve the learning path objective then we have the certificates badges so here you can add any certificate template that you have created for the learning path and the points on which the certificate will be awarded and similarly we have the badges for the learning path and the learning path completion criteria so important thing to note is that the learning path works on points so each learning path maintains its own points criteria and there could be more than one way to achieve that criteria hence the name custom learning paths which means you create the steps for the learning path and assign a set of points for every step completion and once the user achieves the completion points in the learning path the learning path is marked as complete so let's come back to the learning path steps here you define the steps which are required to complete the learning path. Here you add a title for the steps, a description of the step, a featured image for the step and then we have the select step. So this comprises of all the activities that has happened in your site. For example, you can create a step for the member to change his profile image to a, to a course completion criteria or or when the user attends an appointment if you are using our appointments add-on so based on what you select as a step the next criteria comes in for the so for example here i selected the step as course evaluated and then i get the option that whether this step should be marked as complete when the user completes any course or the selected courses or any course from the selected course category and the points which the user will get when she finishes this particular course you can create multiple steps and as soon as they get uh, achieve their first 20 points they will get this certificate and when they complete the the second step two steps which is which can be any sequence because this learning path is non sequential so whenever they complete any of the two courses which are marked in these steps they will get the badge and when they achieve the points which are more than the learning path completion point this learning path will be marked as complete so you can award multiple badges and multiple certificates to the students who are pursuing the learning path in the version 4 implementation we have added this functionality which is offered by group so here you can select a a buddy press group which is offering this custom learning path this means that all the administrators of this particular group will be able to manage this custom learning path 
they'll be able to see the statistics and and download report so now you can design this page with elementor as well but if you're not using elementor the default layout will show the featured image if you have selected then it will show the points completion criteria the certificate and the badges the learning path offering group so if this particular group is also a batch then you can start date of the batch and the number of seats in the batch along with the description and the batch image so to enroll into a learning path the user simply has to click on this button and he gets enrolled into the learning path and for a non sequential learning path the steps appear in a card like layout so here i have created a page and embedded the custom learning path grid so if you edit this page in elementor so this is the vibe grid and here i have selected the featured style as learning path and the post type as learning path so if we view any any group which is offering the learning path so here you can see the group so for groups which are offering learning paths i created a new template in the ybp group layouts i have assigned on the group type university so which means that not all the groups will will be using this template in the members area two widgets which we have added so first one is the learning learning paths widget which is the which is for the student and here the student can see the learning path name and the progress and the number of points also you can add the learning path in the profile to add the learning path in the profile you have to follow the same standard process which is to go to the appearance menu section and from the body press custom learning path to your profile menu once you have added the custom learning path you will need to refresh the and refresh body press navigation so now here we have also added the all paths which is the directory of all the learning paths in in your wplms site and here also you can see the groups which are offering these learning path so when we click on the learning path you can see the learning path image title and the button to enroll in or enroll now enroll out of the learning path then we have the learning path steps and the awards in the learning path so here i am logged in as a student and i am not enrolled in any path so we'll just enroll into so here we have the path net specialist and the first step is to complete any course and we are going to get 10 points for that course and this learning path completes at 50 points so we enroll into this learning path and now when we see our my paths we said that we see that we are enrolled into this learning path and our first step is to complete any course our learning path it is 100% complete and here we have completed all the steps in our learning path so here after completing the so after completing the path i have got two achievements one the badge and other one is the certificate for the custom learning path so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching